morning guys hey, I'm just out here in the garden I'm checking out uh, I'm checking up on my plants and I realized someone has been digging through the soil and I think that might have been a squirrel probably looking for some seeds that they hid um, before winter time but not too happy about this check it out look at the mess they did they just dug up little holes all over the place <laughs> and then just dug up a whole bunch of holes in my tomato plants I also checked over here they've been digging I guess they were trying to find some bulbs or something but they've been digging through that my hydrangeas Hopefully they don't do that all year, which I have a feeling they might, but we're going to have to figure this Hi out. Hi guys, so I'm back home. Um, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to build a barrier um, around my raised garden bed because we do have a lot of squirrels, a lot of uh, rodents that like to um, wander around in everybody's backyards and they've basically uh, have been relentless and won't let anything grow so I'm just going to build a little um, cage around the raised gar uh, garden bed so that they can't get to it or at least they can't get to it when I am sleeping or cooking or inside the house. Okay guys, so I'm just basically going to um, pre-drill some holes on the side of the post here so I can screw a couple of nails. That way it's uh, secured to the actual structure of the garden, uh, the raised bed, and it doesn't fall over when I put the screen on. Just as a reference point for when I'm beet red, <laughs> so you can see the difference. Two inch screws uh, to attach the pole to the raised bed. Putting it into the hole that I'll pre drilled. Two. Go. You don't have to worry so much about it being flush with uh, flush with um, the raised bed. You just want it to be secure enough so that it can hold the, the mesh around it without falling and hurting your plants. Hi guys, so basically what I did was I um, ended up, after I drilling the four posts, I ended up wrapping chicken wire all around the raised bed and I didn't tie it off so I can always have access to it um, whenever I harvest. So and then I got these little wooden dowels from the dollar store and that's just basically um, making sure that the chicken wire is nice and tight all the way around so that the squirrels can't penetrate and get into the raised bed. Now, I know that you guys are wondering, well, they can simply just climb 
the uh, mesh that I put around but every night before I go to sleep I plan on putting this mesh um, over the raised bed and then pinning it off so that they can't get in when I'm sleeping and then when I wake up when I'm ready to tend to the garden um, I'll just take them out so that they can get their proper sunlight hi guys I changed my mind I'm gonna be using this garden netting instead and I'm gonna reinforce it with these clothespins Oh man, that was tiring. I finally got it. That's how it looks like guys. So it's just going to go on top and it's secured by the clothespins all around. Hopefully that will deter or keep the squirrels out. And then I have the chicken wire wrapped around the parameters here. Uh, I did leave this area over here loose so I can always pull it out if I need to go harvest some vegetables but at least with this mesh it still allows the plants to get um, their full sunlight um, so that they can grow nice and big and at the same time it keeps the squirrels away the next morning hi guys how are you doing today uh, garden update um, I decided to uh, work on the other raised bed in terms of building a parameter around it. I wanted to make something a little bit, that looks a little bit more neater um, and more accessible. So I switched to this um, barrier instead of the chicken wire, which is hard. This one here is plastic and it just goes around the raised bed. Uh, nicely and I am building currently a cover to go on top of it um, so that the squirrels can't get in over from the top I just find that this is a lot easier it's more cheaper actually and it's a lot easier for me uh, to access the raised bed because I can still bend down and grab the vegetables without having to hurt myself from the chicken wire because the chicken wire is very very sharp but yeah, like nothing got into these plants here last night. So they work. They definitely do. Um, you just have to, you know, make sure that they can't get in from underneath. Chicken wire, they definitely can't. But this here, they can. There is a little bit of space here. But hopefully it will deter them. Um, deter them by just seeing the face to not, uh, fence to not even go in here or bother it. They are digging holes here on the side. I have to figure out a way um 
to protect this area, I think I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of plastic forks in here so that it's, it's nice and sharp so when they crawl in here, they don't like uh, getting poked. So that's what I'm gonna do. But the plants are loving the hot weather. It's been really, really hot here in Canada, but look, my bitter melon is starting to trellis. It's really nice. And my gourds and my cucumbers are starting to get really, really big. Um, do you guys like my hat? I picked this up today. I know. I look, but you know what? It protects me from the sun. Look how red I am. I'm like a lobster, but you know what? It's nice. I can stay here um, a lot longer because I don't get overheated as much. It's just my arms that kind of like are taking the beating, but you know what? Garden is Gardening is life. I love it. Look at bitter melons over here. I decided to protect this area with, um, this is the fence that we used last year. I don't know if you guys remember that from my Instagram stories or my Instagram. This, um, I used uh, to guard this area here because my dog loves to trample on top of these things. And right now these little okras need all the help that they can get. They are tiny right now and I want them to grow nice and big as well as my kale and my bitter melons. So I'm just protecting them right now. These, race, uh, these uh, pots here are going to go upstairs into the balcony. I just have to transplant some seedlings in them prior. And then I plan to uh, create some pots full of flowers here to attract bees. But these here are my, um, I think they're my hydrangeas uh, that I bought last year. And they just like tripled in size this year so they come back every year I feel like if I were to plant this on the ground they would just keep coming back every year non-stop so I'm excited about that but look guys we had our first zucchini flower unfortunately it's a female and it is a zucchini but there's no male flowers for it to get pollinated so this one will probably die but I'm hoping 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 that more of my flowers will come out and uh, I can get some actual zucchinis growing in my garden. But yeah, even the uh, even the eggplant and the bok choy are growing nice and big. And look guys, my peppers are starting to produce. Woohoo! Excited about that. Okay guys, I'm going to finish making this cover here. Um, I'm gonna leave you guys to the side so you guys can see what I'm up to. Okay guys, check it out. This is our new and improved protected raised bed all around. I'm so, 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 so pleased about it. It looks so much better. I mean, this one's good. It's gonna do the job. But I think what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna replace the screen on top of it with this here, like something like this. 
that way it's easier for me to to pin and also take off but super pleased with this it looks so good a few inches later hi guys so this is uh, another part of my kiri versus squirrel segment i've secured my raised beds and i've um I've added parameters around it, plastic parameters, so that the squirrels can't get in. I secured them with post pins. But I also um, realized that they started digging here on my side beds for uh, where my um, cucumbers, my opal squash, my bitter melon, my Malabar spinach, and my beans are. So I actually, uh, someone suggested to me this. Um, as a trick because squirrels don't like getting poked. They are clear so they can't really see it, especially at night or in the morning. So what I've done here, as you can see, is that anywhere where they are starting to nibble or dig, I've been adding these plastic spor uh, forks around. Just like so. so. If they get poked, they run away. Um, I noticed that it started working with my tomato plants. So you can tell they've been kind of digging around here. I don't know what they're looking for, old bulbs or whatever. I didn't really have any bulbs here, just um, beans. So I'm just going to add a ton of these plastic forks and I'm just sticking the, um, the long side all the way into the dirt so that only the fork is sticking out. This way you wanna have it facing out. So I'm just gonna continue all the way around here because they have been digging and they are relentless. They've just been digging all over the place. So I'm sticking these plastic forks all over the place, especially in the areas where they're digging. Like they like to dig up my Malabar spinach in the morning, this would be toppled over. And you could see facing down, you could hardly see them, right? But they're there. And then once they get poked, run away. I would like in the future to probably install like a, an action cam here just to see if um, what time of the day they come and to see if these forks work. But they don't, they don't disrupt the roots of um, the actual plants. So I'm happy about that. And then they don't look tidy because you can barely see them, right? It's just an added protection for you and your plants so that you can reap the harvest of what you sow. I mean, you can share some with the wildlife, but these squirrels here tend to eat everything. And like you can see here that they've just been digging up everything. They've just been digging up everything and they just are super, super curious, super, super hungry. So these are, this is how I'm going to be protecting my beans. They've been digging all the way over here. They're little. Remember, I told last night I heard a sound here, and I told Kyle, and I was like, I, "Someone's digging over there." I know it. I just—it was just so dark that I couldn't see anything. But nonetheless, there they are, little holes. So they have been digging here. We'll grab more forks. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this hack. Try it at home and see if it works um, in your garden. I wanna keep you guys updated on um, Carrie versus Squirrel and see if this works here. I hope you guys enjoyed this segment.